Still to come on Eyewitness News, even man's most modern toys require some personal touches. This is what most people think of as a computer, an ominous and very expensive machine used by patient folks, either rich or lucky enough to have access, though I doubt many computer students would hardly call it luck. Now computers are sufficiently small and inexpensive that you can carry your own under your arm without a government grant. Much of this is due to an Albuquerque company called MITS. The Altair computer was introduced as a kit in the January 1975 issue of Popular Electronics. At that time, no one expected a hobby project to become the fastest growing industry in the world. In the first year they offered the computer, they thought they might sell as many as 800 machines. That's what they told the bank to keep the bank happy. And in fact, they sold over 5,000 machines. And have since been acquired by a company called Pertec out of California, um, where our total gross now would be somewhere, including that company, in somewhere around 100 million a year. So now, MITS is located in an enormous facility where several different models of computers and mass storage devices are manufactured. These people can build an entire computer in four hours. Besides the interesting history, the Altair has a revolutionary structure that enables products from various companies to work with little difficulty in an Altair. The reason we like it is because the very first computer that we put out, the, very first, the, the guy that bought the very first one, can use everything we've made for the computer up until today. If the assembled units do not go directly to hobbyists or businesses, they end up in stores, like the computer shack. We are the Mercedes-Benz of the computer, the computer field. What are the differences between the newer microcomputers and the more traditional monster machines? Find out tomorrow. Henry Birdseye, TV4 Eyewitness News.